Hey YouTube, what is going on? Got a new battle for you here today. And uh, yeah, how's your summer going? Because I've got to do a class over the summer, not because I failed or anything, but yeah, it's kind of extra stuff, so that's fun. Uh, and then I've got summer assignments, which is also always fun. So I'm going to be busy along with football, so uploads might not be as uh, consistent as usual, unfortunately, but I will upload as much as I possibly can. But anyways, after that quick update, let's uh, jump into the team preview. So I am using a new team, which is mostly offensive. There's not really any defense going on there. So uh, yeah, but looking at his team, it is a pretty decent rain team. Um, I know he can really do a lot of damage with that uh, Kira in black because I don't have anything to resist the outrage other than Scizor, but he is maybe the bulky Swords Dance set, but even then Kira B has a huge attack stat, so I know I won't be taking much, I won't be uh, taking many of those, but anyways, uh, Wobbuffet's not a huge problem because I do have a few things to deal with it, namely Scizor or uh, Gengar, both of them can take on uh, Wobbuffet pretty well. And my Landorus isn't the Rock Polish Sheer Force set. I feel that's kind of annoying. So I went with a Scarf variant. Um, and yeah, he is suspect to go Uber, but that's a thing and whatever. Um, anyways, uh, let's see. Keldeo can do a pretty good amount of damage to his team. Um, except probably for Wobbuffet, but like I said, I do have two things to deal with that. My Hydreigon is the uh, sub-3 attack set. And Conkle, there's the bulk up with Ice Punch, Mock Punch, Drain Punch. So, enough of me talking about things and stuff. Let's just go and start this battle. So, I lit off my Hydreigon because I know I can pretty much scout for whatever he's going to want to do, which is what I do with the substitute, risking the possible Choice Scarfed Keldeo. But he does go for the Ice Beam. Don't want to take one of those. Go to my Scizor and unfortunately get frozen. I do have the Lumberry though, so I'm not too worried. And he goes for the Skull, and I'm like, please don't burn. It doesn't burn, so that's cool. Go for the Sword Dance, and once again, I'm like, please don't burn. But, yeah, you know, that that's bound to happen eventually, so. I uh, just go for the Bulk White. Barely even does a third. Doesn't even do a third, and he protects. Making the smart play, and at this point, I just sacked Scizor because I knew he was useless, even if you went for the Protect. So, going to Gengar, this is the Sub Disable, like I said. And I know he's got Scald and Ice Beam to hit me with, but I would rather disable his Scald and not the Ice Beam, because the Ice Beam probably will take out my sub, but I'd rather be able to get a better switch into, like, Keldeo. So, he doesn't make the good play as I go, by, go behind the sub, and he goes for that Parish Song. But he goes into Wobbuffet, which I found was a weird play, because he goes for the, uh, he goes into the Wobbuffet, but gets the special defense drop, which will guarantee the two-hit KO, so... Kind of weird on his part, I don't really know why going in Wobbuffet was a good idea, but, um, yeah. But he goes right into Keldeo, get another special defense drop on that Shadow Ball. And I just kind of decided to sack Gengar, because I really didn't see any other use for him, so... I go into Landorus, I'll post a Cal, because I think that was more close to max damage, but... Like I said, I don't really have many things to take an Outrage, and I, I really made a stupid play here going into Keldeo. I think I was predicting the Ice Beam, or some kind of Ice Move, but um, yeah, I should have gone into Conkle there first, making a much safer play. Um, actually, I think I just wanted a safe switching into Conkle there to be able to take him out with a Drain Punch, Mock Punch combo, but because of his Lander's T, threatened out because of the attack drop. And he toxics my landers on the switch. Smart play on his part. Uh, I go for the U-turn though, getting that switch initiative. And I don't think an Ice Beam, knowing that he's a defensive set, will be able to take me out. So I go for the Dragon Pulse. Does a little under a half. But that Ice Beam looks like it'll knock me out next turn. But I go for another Dragon Pulse, taking as low as possible. But he gets min-max damage variations on those Ice Beams. And I am able to live, able to get off one more Dragon Pulse and take him out. So that is great for me. And I'm thinking, okay, I can go for a Fire Blast, but he strangely enough has a Scarfed Flash Cannon Jirachi. A little weird, but yeah, it took out my Hydreigon, so that's a thing. Um, I go into Landers, and I was debating going for the HP Ice because the Earthquake was obvious, but ended up just going for the safe U-turn. And I go into my Conkle as he top six to me. I'm not really sure why he did that, because he gave me the Guts boost. I'm not really sure, but he does not go over my leftovers, so Toxic will start to wear me down. But at this point, it really doesn't matter because I know I can knock out the Landorus. 
and I know that he's probably got the psychic move, and it is psychic, so going to Landers. Knowing that he is the offensive scarf, I know that Earthquake will knock him out. So that is going to be the game. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all later.